thank you for joining us today to celebrate the spirit of public-private partnership. As we announce the Jacksonville's Light Parade will go on, this is great news for our city, for our downtown, and for the thousands and upon thousands of Jacksonville residents and visitors who enjoy this holiday tradition. I want to thank Downtown Vision, Visit Jacksonville, the Jacksonville Marine Association the Light Parade Committee, and a number of civic-minded people for their help raising money to ensure that the light parade continue. In our troubled economy, it is truly inspiring to see Jacksonville's business community leaders step up to provide an opportunity to continue this great event. This public-private partnership effectively takes the financial pressure off of City Hall to put on this event. It is the work of people who understand the financial bind that hurts our city budget. People who understand the value of public service when there are no public dollars to spare. Events like the light parade show the spirit of the community that defines Jacksonville. We are a community of neighbors, friends, and family that will always bind together to leverage our scarce resources when times are tough. The Light Parade is a family-friendly event that serves as a venue for parents and grandparents to spend quality time with their children. Situated along a community treasure like the St. John's River, the Light Parade is a wonderful spot to enjoy the night with friends and family. It is something our city has to put on to, stay, to say thank you to the citizens that make Jacksonville a wonderful place to live. All right, we'll take a few questions. How much is left, Mayor, and who are you going to try to get to raise the rest? Well, you know, we don't have that much left, but I'm going to write a check myself for $1,000. They got another $1,000 from Mayor Brown. Hey. There you go. They're short. I'll make it up. There you go. That's it right there. We got it. Done. Mayor moves quick. This is like part of your campaign was public private thing. Sure. You're doing really well for Sunday days. Are you setting the bar kind of high? Are you going to, are, you know, are you going to continue this? Well, we're going to be able to continue because of a couple of reasons. One, uh, it's a good turn on investment from the private sector and public sector. It shows that when you have visionary leadership that we can work together to leverage our scarce resources. You know, I took a budget and balanced it without raising taxes, fees, happened to the city reserve. I took a 20% pay cut not taking a city pension, and this is what I said I would do. I would bring the private sector and the public sector together to invest in our future. And that's what this is, all of us working together to play our role, to leverage our assets. Jim Bailey is one of the smartest businessmen in the city. Uh, he loves downtown, he believes in this city. And working with people like him and others means a lot to this community. And so I'm very uh, happy about it, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure we continue to do it. The $1,000 that you're giving, is that from your own pocket? That's my own personal dollar. My then, personal commitment, I'm giving $1,000 from Alvin Brown and family. So that's from Cynthia, Joshua, and Jordan, myself. And then what's the estimated number The estimated number of people who come out specifically for the boat parade? What's the new number that people come out? 200,000. We want to increase that. As Terry said, we want to increase those numbers. And, you know, you all know, I mean, I believe in downtown. I love downtown. It speaks to our character and who we are as a community. I want to have a vibrant downtown. Downtown is one of my top priorities in the Brown administration. We're going to make sure that it's viable, thriving, uh, and I think having uh, that kind of vision for downtown to become a destination which will improve the quality of life in our city and throughout the region. Uh, I think that's important and we're going to continue to do that. Yes, sir. You know, I'm going to have an office of public-private partnership. So this is part of that whole strategy of reforming city government to operate more effectively and efficiently, to make sure that taxpayers get a return on their investment, to make the tough decisions uh, now and do smart investment. And this is a classic example of a public-private partnership. And that's where we're going to have an office of public-private partnership. It's been very effective. And I thank God for all the civic and business leaders who believe in the vision. Yes, ma'am. $200,000. 
Joe, we're going to help coordinate, and we're going to have the manpower to help coordinate to put this event on uh, like we normally do. We want to have a great event, great success, because not only do we want people to visit Jacksonville, I want them to have the wow factor. I want them to say, wow, you know what, this would be a great place to expand my business, relocate my business. You know what, maybe my family can move here. What a great city. It's, 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 it's so important to put on a great event so people can feel walk, welcome and warm and that we're open for business, but we're friendly that we support our local merchants, our, our small businesses. We have over 80,000 business owners that have 10 or few employees. And all our businesses downtown, including our hotels, this is another way of showing our commitment. So there's no specific number on how much is No, no. Do you have an estimate? No, I don't have an estimate. We can get back to you on that. I'll do whatever it takes to make it work. But the financial dollars are there, but coordinating and help putting it on is a different story. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. All right.